Welcome to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate audio and sounds um, other than from using your microphone or importing audio. We can just generate right from within Audacity. So maybe you want to create a sound for an animation or a video game, or you want to generate something, a sound to integrate into your existing audio. This is how you can do that. So the easiest thing to do to get started is to just generate a tone. So if we go to tone, it brings up this box. It creates an audio track for us. And it just says, what do you want the waveform to be, first of all? So sine's going to be kind of smooth, square, and sawtooth are going to be more like harsh on your ears. Then at the frequency, so how many times do you want that wave to repeat uh, in hertz? So this is like 440. And then the amplitude, how loud do you want it? Like how high do you want the wave to go? And then if we ever want to change these defaults, if yours are looking different than mine, you can go to Manage, Factory Presets, Defaults. Um, with lots of different effects and generate lots of different things has this manage tab so you can always get back to the defaults that way but I'll just hit OK oh and the duration mine's set to three seconds yours might be 30 but anyway so this is a three second long tone that sounds like this it's kind of loud kind of obnoxious we can go to effects and we can also apply like effects on top of this if we want to so it'd be like this so that's how you can kind of start to get yeah, create a sound by combining something you generate with some effects that we've already learned. Uh, chirp is going to be like a tone that starts from one point. If we just leave this all default, it's going to start at this frequency. Ooh, and then kind of change like that. That one also could get on your nerves. And then we could like, you know, we can come in to effects and we could reverse this if we want it to be different. We do reverse. Oh, we got to select it first. Effects, reverse, and now it's going to go like this. Right, like something falling out of the sky in your animation or something. Um, let's close this. So what else do we have that we can generate? We can just generate noise if we want some like white noise. This is going to be quite. So by default, let's go back. I've, I played this with, with this one a little bit. By default, it's very very loud and white noise. Yeah, but we can also we can go to change this down to the amplitude. So the amplitude's like kind of the, uh, a different version of the word amplify, right? So it's the, the it's actually the height of the wave, but if we put some zeros in here and make this amplitude a much smaller number, then it makes this volume much much softer too. It makes it much lower. Um, what else do we have here? We can do this DT. I'm not sure what these do. Let's just hit OK and see. So just kind of a tone, like a pulsing, a quickly pulsing, pulsating tone. Um, so just play with these. Play with generate. We got some pluck some different things here, like a guitar string. And then again, we, we can change this, we can select it. Well, in the generation, it's probably the best way to, to change it. We can change like what, you know, how long is it gonna be? What type of fade out do we wanna have? Like what do we want to be like this? But you can also select the whole thing and go to effects and apply some of these different effects to it that we've learned like pitch, speed, add some more bass or treble to it. Just kind of, yeah, change the sound a little bit. Uh, rhythm track. So we get like a little drum sound. So you can create instruments too for like uh, for using in like LMMS like we've learned about. If you check out my other tutorials, you can create like an LMMS sound and then bring it into LMMS. And then obviously you can change a lot of these wave settings and different settings there as well. So play with these, you know, get familiar with generating and... Um, I guess, what's this say? I haven't done this. So add, remove plugins. So I guess you can probably add more plugins here if you're interested in using Audacity in this method, you know, generating audio rather than just, uh, uh, rather than bringing it in from your microphone or, or downloading something. There's probably some different plugins here that we can get uh, to bring in. So maybe I'll make a video on that too if I learn more about using that. Appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, uh, leave your questions, comments below, and I hope to see you in another video soon.